Oh wait, this is the wrong shit. There you go. Hello world of YouTube. Welcome back to my two controller run of 007 GoldenEye for Modified Mondays. Now, today we're going to be finishing the story and we're going to be continuing Mission 7 in the Water Caverns. Fuck. I don't remember this level whatsoever. Destroy inlet pump controls, outlet pump controls, master control console, and minimize scientist casualties. That's a Jewel reference. Shout out to Jewel. Never! I'm not the biggest Jewel fan. She's okay, I guess. Oh, shit. We got, uh, we got some shit going on, folks. Oh fuck you! <clears throat> is this gonna be a is this gonna be a guns blazing level? <clears throat> Why do I sound like that? Oh, I remember this level because I like the doors, both the band and the way these doors look. They're really cool. I like the kind of hexagonal door. Oh shit! Y'all are just y'all are just full of full of frenzy today. <clears throat> what do I have? I got timed mines. That's what the yellow ones are. And I got it. Why'd you give me a PP7? If I got all this shit. I kind of remember this level. I think this is a multiplayer level, if I'm not mistaken. But I definitely do not remember much about it. Uh, other than the doors. No. Open. I need to reload. That's the one. It's one thing I really don't like. Get out of here. Go. I'm guessing this is part of it. Oh, shit. No, you dumb motherfucker. God damn it. You go. Don't run into it. All right, one of the objectives is complete. Which one was that? Uh, what, Mixie? What? Okay. <laughs> Destroy inlet pump controls. Okay. So that's done. Oh, shit. I'm running low on ammo for that. Oh, that's why they give you the, uh, the one thing. Hi, Mixie, what? What, sweetie? What? Makes you just want some love and affection. That's my baby. I like that door. Less, less or so this one. Looks kind of like a like a shitty frog from the '90s opening its mouth. Like, there's bad guys up here. Now he's dead. <clears throat> Back it up. Kill that dude. Maybe that's why they give you mines, so you don't run out of ammo. It's a very real possibility. Mixie, get out of that bag. Mixie, get out of that bag. You goobus. Oh, shit. Now I got a second one, bitches. Open. See, I remembered how to crouch. It's a thing that happened. Oh, look at that. So... I definitely... I definitely feel like I'm still missing something. And I definitely feel like I'm gonna die trying to beat this level right now. Yeah, that's a that's a certainty right now. Yep, just like that. <laughs> the Mixie needs love and break. Cause she needs love and she's my kitty. Oh, she still she still needs love and my boobies. I'm glad she's not mad at me, because I gave her a towel bath the other day. And uh she wasn't against it, she kinda liked it, but 
I know cats and water aren't always the best of friends. Oh, hold on, Mixie. Hold on, babies. Hold on, sweetie. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got you, baby. I got you. Please. Please, okay. I got you. I'm right here. The challenge this week is I also have to console my cat, who is anxious for some undiscernible reason. Or just wants attention. You know? To be a good cat parent. What's the trope of every single guy who makes videos on the internet? Who makes video game videos on the internet? Probably has had a cat at some point. There's a, I wonder if there's a correlation or how much of an overlap it is between uh, gamer guys and, uh, and cat owners. I want to look over here and see if I've missed anything over here. Because I feel like I did. I feel like this is where the outward pump controls are. I feel like there's something back here. I don't remember what, but I feel like there's something back here. Oh yeah, this is for the, the other pump controls. Fuck. Oh no, this is a shortcut to the end, isn't it? No, it's not. I think it is actually. Shit. I'm gonna fucking die. Damn it. I died. I died. I don't know what. I remembered that there was a thing there. Is he coming down? There's armor right there. I'm definitely near the end of the level. I definitely took a shortcut to get here. Code card. Did I get some armor? Or was that a code card? That was definitely just a code card. Fuck. Oh, there's armor right there. Okay, that dude's dead. The fuck is that? Oh no, that is, this is the inward pump room. Okay. <clears throat> or the outlet pump room. Okay. I thought this was the near the end of the level with the armor. Because I could really use that right about now. Oh, fuck. That turret. That turret. That turret. Oh, I'm fucking dead. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Where did that land? Okay, that landed right there. Good. Is it possible to run into ammo in this level? Because I feel like it is. Let me, let me get my map up real quick. Oh, we need to go backwards. We need to turn around. Because this, while a nice place to be, is not close to where I want to be. Which is by the body armor. Because I have how much health? None. I don't want to die again for the third time. I got places to go, food to eat. I'm already gonna have to split this episode up in two parts, which is fine. Uh, I'm just trying to fucking not make this a tumultuous experience for both of us, you know? I know you guys like to see me suffer. I know you guys like to see me have just a rough day. And I like rough days sometimes, as a joke. As a little gaff, as a little goof. Fuck, I forgot that there was dudes up here that I probably didn't fucking kill. Whoa, hi, hi, yeah, yo. That's all my ammo. Okay. I don't think there's any more dudes I need to worry about, because literally on the other side of this wall, I think there's ammo. Oh, fuck. Don't you fucking dare kill me. RCP-90, fuck yeah. That's my gun right there. Got another code card. Should be armor in here. Right there. Fuck yeah. Alright, so pause. Rolls. Okay. So now let's go. Shit. That's put me at a distinct disadvantage. Whoa. Okay. 
Yeah, those dudes died. Alright, well, I'm fucked. Is there shit in here I needed to destroy? I know that the radio, because there's another objective to contact your friend Wade. Yeah, I'm dead. That's fine. So that might not have been where I had to go. Yeah, no, that is where I had to go. Okay. So, I just needed to not let those guys blow that shit up. And I needed to get the scientists out of there. Okay, well... No, that's okay. I was just like, the fuck was that? Oh, fuck, hi! <laughs> Jesus. Alright, objective B. No, bye! No, 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 no. Go! Let me leave, please! Shit, it doesn't matter. Just blow it up. Fuck. I don't care. Objective D failed? What the fuck do you mean? One dude died! One dude died! That- that one dude can't die! Are you fucking serious? <sighs> That's some dumb shit. You're like a little head in the corner of the screen right there. <laughs> See, this is the part of an episode where I just edit around my, my success. And hide my failure. <laughs> or showcase my ha failure, but like in comedic splendor. You can leave. You can leave. There you go. Boom. That's fine. And then if I'm not mistaken, because we're just going to consult the map, because the map is a friend. Yeah, so we just got to go through this. That door's locked, so we got to go around. <laughs> of course we fucking do. Should just be a matter of. Oh shit. Why is that scientist just running around? What the hell is that? This is the other room that I was in. Can I go in this way? I can. Dude is dead. Dude is dead. Where am I going? Oh, is it in here? Yes, it is. There's gonna be two turrets in here. Oh yeah, that's right, this type of shit. Shit. It's literally down this hallway, and then that's the end of the level. Who the fuck is shooting me from behind? You have a fucking death wish. Oh shit! That's a lot of dudes. I better fucking not die right here. I'm gonna be the most mad person in the world. I'm the most mad person in the world right now, because that hallway, that's... Cut to, cut to my victory at a, at a later time today, when I'm a less angry person. Oh, 
damn it. Oh wait. Right, let's go. We got it, we got it, let's go. Shit, go, 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 go. God. That's a win. That's a win. Whew. Eight minutes later. Jeez. Let's do this last. This last story mission. Let's uh, start this by doing this. Grabbing this. So we're gonna need it. Let's aim for this guy that's in the fog. Fuck you. Now this mission is actually really unique in that you get stuff, like there's other missions where you get stuff for beating it at a better, at a faster pace. But if you beat, um, if you beat you beat it even faster you get um, you get some bonus shit so I think in one of these there's the thing is it in this no but there's some body armor right there fuck yeah so what am I looking for? Oh jeez. Oh jeez. No. That's not what I'm looking for. I was looking for that's where you end up, is down there. But I'm trying to get to this, I'm guessing. Oh yeah, there it is. Come back from the back. Turd in here. Alright, that one's dead. There's the controls. Destroy them. There you go. Now we gotta go kill the boss. The boss guy. The final boss guy with very little health. It's okay. I don't think it takes a whole lot, so. I don't think he takes many shots, but. I would have liked to have not have this little of a thing. And then Trevlin's gonna be down here. Or not. Oh, do we have to like round him up? I forget about this part of the mission. We have to like chase him around the satellite and like goat him to this area. I forgot about this, this is dumb. Oh, well, I fell. Cool. Yep, that's that's a death. Oh, bye. This mission's not easy. What the fuck? Oh, did he go down to the thing? All right, yep, that's that's death. Oh, I died again. Fuck you guys. God damn it. Oh, you dudes, man. Fuck. Let's fucking die again. Fuck me, god damn it. Oh, yep, I definitely died. He laid a fucking grenade down. Oh, I'm dead. It's death. There you go. Now we're gonna finish it. We're gonna finish the job. So he's gonna go down in this middle section. And then we gotta fight on an absurdly small platform. So he's gonna jump down. There you go. That's it. What the fuck? Oh, no. I'm supposed to jump off or something. 
Fuck this. <coughs> I technically did it. I just didn't jump off the side. I think I had to jump off the side. Right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's finish the job. If I can get down there, jeez. Fucking really? Fucking jump. Is that the end? No, what? God. Mm. He drops grenades. I was trying to avoid that. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck this level. Fuck this level. God damn it. Finish the job. Yes. Let's do it. Fuck. Bitch. You have to do it backwards. I do. There you go. Boom. He fell. <sighs> that's it. That's 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 the fucking main game. After like three hours of footage, that is. Oh, here's a. There's a little makeout sesh between Bond and Natalia. Oh. And that. That was Goldeneye. That was that was Goldeneye, the um, two controller mode. Now. As I've said multiple times, in this playthrough, the this isn't done. I still have one more episode with this game that I want to do, and a bonus episode featuring um, a different game uh, for the N64 that also features this two-controller setup. Not Perfect Dark, although I might do a two-controller run of Perfect Dark sometime in the future, if that's something you guys would like to see. Because, as I said in my N64 games list, I'm a much bigger um, Perfect Dark fan than I am Goldeneye fan. I do think that revisiting this game, my issues with it are still there. Like some of the some of the vagueness with the enemies I'm fighting, uh, some of the some of the mission objectives feel a little odd, obtuse at times, and the the goal isn't really clear sometimes on what you're supposed to do. Um, this game was kind of made for like an instruction manual, whereas in Perfect Dark, they improved on a lot of the issues with this game in that. Along with just, I feel like the controls, even with just one controller on Perfect Dark, are much better than one controller on this. Um, I do think the two controllers was weird. It was an incredibly weird controller setup that took some getting used to, but after I got used to it, it was it was pretty chill. Um, it was easy to it was easy to get around and. Honestly, I I did still have my issues with this uh, setup, but I got comfortable with it the more that I played with it. Um, but yeah, I um, I still think this game hasn't aged all that well. Uh, I do like more of the levels than I remembered, but I still have a distaste for a handful of them, and I don't like some of the things like enemy placement, patrols of, lo like, enemies and levels. I still hate a handful of the levels in this game, like the control center and the second uh, surface when you're in the prison and the jungle was weird. Um, any any level where Natalia was her own AI was obnoxious because she is a rogue AI. Same with the scientists. That cavern was kind of frustrating. 
this this episode and this last level. You can eat a bag of dicks. But yeah, that's a uh, that's a really uncomfortable thing to hold on in the credits to N sixty four era and uh, models just making out, just 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 giving a big old taking a trip to Smooch Town in the forest and just the jungle, you know, as you do. But yeah, this is a. Uh, This was this was this was interesting. This is an interesting experiment to play with. Um, now, as far as the next game for Modified Mondays, I'll actually talk about uh, next week, or maybe even during the bonus episode, because I've got a couple of other ideas I want to do with this concept before I, uh, before with this modification before I jump to the next Modified Mondays, which I have a couple in mind. Um, depending on if I can get one done, if the other party wants to be involved with it still, I'll do that again. But if not, then I have a backup plan. But yeah. James Bond won't return. He's, this was, this was an interesting idea, and a lot of people latched onto it, but what's upsetting is that no other Bond game has had the legacy of this. Even though I like a couple of the other James Bond games, I've played, um, a lot of them. Is that just more of the credits? Yeah, this is just more of the credits, even though we just saw this. Um, I played I played a lot of the James Bond games. I played all of them up through Die Another Day. Like, I played all the Bond era, or the Bond era, all the Brosnan era Bond games um, that were movie-linked. Once they started making ones that weren't based on movies, I stopped playing them um, outside of Agent Under Fire and um, Nightfire. But what's funny is I've wanted to go back and play a lot of the um, Bond games that I've missed. And I think it's out of morbid curiosity because while I think this game was fun in its time, it was a landmark game for the console, I actually prefer most of the other Bond games that I've played. I think they do a better job at making um, the, the controls feel better. And uh, the game just feels the games feel more indebted to spy stuff. This game had spy moments that I forgot about, but I still think that the other games and even Perfect Dark are better spy games than this one. Um, there's a lot more running and gunning than I feel like would be indebted to a, a game where you play a spy. Also, they're just they're just they're just going all out with these models. You know what I mean? So we haven't even gotten to the Moonrakers. Those are characters we haven't even touched yet. Or Mayday. Or Jaws. Or Odd Job. Or Baron Salmon Samadai Samadai Samadai. Those are four what we'll be doing next week. The Aztec and this level we'll be doing next week. But thank you so very much for watching. Thank you for your likes and your subscriptions if you decide to do so. On screen now are a bunch of playlists for you to check out. Um, shooters, a recommended video, whatever I decide to put up here. And the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Um, I also want to give a special thanks to my patrons for supporting me on Patreon. If you'd like to join them, it's linked in the description. But I'm going to get out of here. I've been Vowel Rack. Thank you so very much for watching. You guys have good days, lives, and situations. And I'll see you.